from the Boston Museum of Science. SciTech Today on NECN. In SciTech Today, the global AIDS pandemic continues to grow, but a small company in Marlboro, Massachusetts, has developed a new tool that could provide help where it's needed most. Nanotechnology correspondent Alex Fiorentino joins us live from the Museum of Science in Boston. Welcome, Alex. Thanks, Chet. Hey, what's currently happening in the fight against AIDS? Well, unfortunately, what's currently happening is really a global tragedy. Uh, in 2007, AIDS caused an estimated 2 million deaths. And of those 2 million, about 1.5 million were in sub-Saharan Africa. Part of what's really frustrating about this is that we do have some pretty good ways of treating HIV now, but it's very, very difficult to get those treatments out into remote parts of Africa. So what's being done to get treatments into those remote regions? Well, one thing that has some people really excited is this device right next to me, actually. Uh, it's made by a company right out in Marlboro, Massachusetts called Point Care Technologies. And what it does is basically monitor HIV as it progresses in patients. Um, and what's really unique and, and special about this machine is that it's designed to work in exactly those remote regions where other machines really won't work. Alex, why does it work so well in remote areas? Uh, well, other machines have certain needs in terms of resources, right? So you need uh, electricity, uh, refrigeration, space, lots of space, and highly trained technicians. This machine actually doesn't need any of that. Um, it, it doesn't require any refrigeration, and you don't even need an electrical outlet. Actually, I'm, I'm running it right now from this battery. Um, so it's really the first fully portable HIV monitoring machine. So give us some idea on how they use this machine. Uh, well, they've actually really taken, taken advantage of it. Point Care Technologies, the company has, along with the World Bank. And what they've done, uh, I've, ha I've got some great pictures of this project. Uh, what they've done is set up a mobile clinic out in Africa that travels from village to village, and it delivers tests and treatments to people who otherwise wouldn't be able to get them. What do these test results show you? Um, well, they'll show you a whole bunch of things. Um, basically, it's really simple to use. So the test results will just come out on a, a little page like this. Um, and it tells you several things about the patient's blood. Um, but the most important piece of information is the, something called the CD4 count, um, which is basically just a measure of how severe the disease has gotten based on the number of CD4 blood cells that it's killed. So does an affected patient have to have continuous checkups using uh, this machine? That's a, that's a great question. Um, basically, with HIV, there's a certain point at which it's ideal to start treatments. And to know when that point has been reached, doctors have to continually check up on them, yeah, and see how severe the disease, disease has gotten. So that's basically what this machine does. And Alex, what does all this have to do with nanotechnology? Well, nanotechnology is really the key. Um, that's what allows this machine to do so many things that other machines can't. Um, and so inside this machine, there are lots of gold nanoparticles. Um, and when your blood sample goes into the machine, what it does is uh, mixes with the gold nanoparticles, and those nanoparticles specifically tag certain blood cells called the CD4 cells. So from there, uh, the machine pumps your blood into a little tiny tube with a light shining on it. And I, I have a, a little animation that goes with this. So when the light shines on regular blood cells, it goes straight through. But when it shines on the CD4 cells, some of the light bounces back. That's because of these gold nanoparticles. And so by sort of telling the difference between the cells, the machine can count how many CD4 cells a person has and use that to tell how severe their disease is. Very interesting. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, thank you very much, Chad. If you'd like more information on that device, check out the Point Care website at www.pointcare.net. Alex Fiorentino, thank you for joining us live from the Museum of Science in Boston.